Why would I have a minimum balance of about $500 in Bank of America savings account that's earning 0.01% when I can have my money in, for example, a Robinhood cash management account that is earning 0.3? My name is Steven Ojo and welcome to the channel. On my channel, I do talk about saving money, investing, and how to maximize the use of our money. If you are interested in topics like that, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. So let's get to the video. So in this video, my goal is to share with you two things. We're trying to compare Bank of America checking all savings account with the new Robinhood cash management account. I just recently got approved for the cash management on Robinhood and I'm pretty impressed with it. But I'm going to tell you my reasons why. So let's get to Bank of America first and let's go to check-in and see what they offer for their check-in account. All right. So I'm going to the uh, normal Bank of America Advantage Banking type of account. And it tells you easy anytime access, 24-7 security, convenient ways to pay, smart money. But the key thing I'm trying to pay attention to in this video and I want to draw your attention to is what it really costs us to open some of these accounts. So for example, here for the Bank of America Safe Balance Banking, it says $4.95 or zero monthly fee if, and it says here over monthly maintenance fee, each statement cycle that you are enrolled in preferred rewards, students under 24 who are enrolled in school, and it says you can always refer to our clarity statement if you have questions about your account. What are the rates, okay? What are the rates you get for a checking account? Let's see. Let's see if we can find that C rates. Okay. Um, let me do a PDF. All right. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this better on the video. And uh, deposit interest rates and annual percentage yields. This is as at April 30. So this is April 30, 2020. This is the most updated information you can get. Now let's look at this. All right. For the standard price in less than 2,500, rate is 0.01%. With an APO of 0.01%. Now, if you have 20K or less than 50,000, 50,000, 100,000, and then the above amounts of 100,000 and above, then you get this rate, which is still really low, really, really low. I'm surprised that this bank still offer this amount when we have other, you know, online banks offering, you know, 1% and so on. Now, although those might be considered savings accounts, and this is a checking account, so I understand the argument, okay? But Let's move on, all right, to uh, the savings account. All right, here's the savings account, and let's go. So initially, we went on the checking side. Now we're going to the savings side, all right, savings account, and they have the Bank of America Advantage Savings. So let's click that, and that is loading up. And let's see what we have. And it says required opening deposit is $100. So you have to have a minimum amount to deposit, open the account. That's one thing. Withdrawal limit fee, make a total of six transfers and withdraws each month a statement cycle with no withdrawal limit. A $10 fee applies for each withdrawal transfers exceeding six in a monthly statement cycle. That is expensive. I can't believe that they will charge you to withdraw your money and it's each withdrawal. Each withdrawal, you're not just, it's not just one withdrawal per month. It's, let's say you made six additional withdrawals after your six monthly cycle is exceeded, then you'll be charged. Although this is, honestly, this is a rule. It's actually an, a federal rule. So I wouldn't really blame them. It's a bit absurd. Well, let's go to the rates, okay? And it says here, with tiered interest rates, the more you save, the more you could earn. Less than 2,500, you have 0.01%. With uh, 2,500 and above, it says 0.01%, and you can see the other ones here. So the point is, this is not really looking like something that is um, encouraging. And mind you, I have a Bank of America account, and I must tell you that on the savings account, if you have less than $300, and I believe it is somewhere here, all right, maintain a minimum daily balance of at least $500. Okay, now when I open my account with Bank of America, which has been a while, the minimum is $300, so that's what applies to me. And each time I go below my $300, for it, let's say for any reason I, you know, I took out some money and I just go below my $300 with the mindset of, you know, putting back the money maybe the same day or maybe the next day, I mean, what will happen is that I'll end up getting charged, all right, because I went below that balance. And this is a balance that is set by the bank. This is not by the government 
So this is a bit absurd that you have you have to maintain a minimum balance of $500. But I don't want to waste too much time because I want us to look into this in comparison with uh, what Robinhood is offering. All right. So like I said, I just opened up my um, Robinhood cash management account and this is it right here obviously there's nothing much in it i just put that in just to just to make a transfer you could make any transfer there's no minimum balances or anything but that's not what i'm really uh, drawing attention to what i'm drawing attention to is that all right 0 0.30 percent apy when you deposit lands and is moved to banks in our program now one of the banks that is in their program that is actually the main bank is certain bank which is here and I went to pick up, you know, to look on that to see what this bank is all about. And it's a pretty decent bank. It's founded in 1878, all right? And at its core, banking has always been a business of responsibility and earning the trust of its customers. The leaders of Southern Bank feel the responsibility to remain independent and provide products and services that grow out of understanding our customers' needs, both individuals and businesses. And they have their vision and all those things. So, you know, it's a bank that is pretty established and well you know that i believe is here to last and i don't see any problems with it at all so why am i bringing this up the reason why i'm bringing this up is that why would i have a minimum balance of about 500 dollars in bank of america savings account that's earning 0 0.01 percent when i can have my money in for example a robin hood cash management account that is earning 0 0.3 percent apy 0 0.3 not 0 0.01 all right, that is ridiculous in terms of the interest you'll be getting with your money just sitting and doing nothing. Whereas with what you get with like uh, Robinhood app, for example, the cash management account, you get other things as well, which I'm going to be going over as I show you how I opened my personal uh, cash management account with Robinhood. All right, so after I got up the waiting list here, that was the email I got or the message I got. And I'm um, just going over some of the benefits, you know, FDIC insured, full flexibility, 75,000 plus ADMs, and obviously the 0 0.30 APY on your cash. This is just the account protection details. It tells you how your FDIC insured up to about a maximum 1.25 million, right? Yeah, 1.25 million dollars and up to 2,550,000 per, per bank. All right, so at this point, you know, I'm just going over some of the benefits of the account, like no cash, no minimums on the account. And just to make sure I went through the details, like I always encourage you guys to look at the fine prints when it comes to opening accounts with banks. And in this case, I have, you know, the minimum is mostly all zero. Obviously, there could be third party like charges when you use uh, a MasterCard because the card that you'd get is gonna be MasterCard. And at this point, I confirmed my address and, you know, the card design, you choose the card design that you want. And also, you know, some of the terms and conditions of customer agreement, debit card comes and conditions as well to let you know it's MasterCard and there might be third party fees associated, uh, especially if you do some transactions. And yep, that's it. I got it all activated there and uh, I made the deposit. I put some money in there just to put some money in there, I guess. And uh, if you're new to my channel, if you're seeing me for the first time, please consider checking out my channel. Consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel.